Hey everyone, I'm just uh, sitting in a field here, pretending to drink coffee. You may have seen recently on your YouTube recommended videos, one called, what is it called? It's called How to Get Rid of Annoying Neighbors with a Crayon. And it's gone viral, man. Uh, last time I checked, it was like 1.6 million views. That's a lot. And uh, the guy, the channel, Homesteading Off The Grid, it only, it only had 2,000 subscribers when it first, when it posted that video. So how does a small YouTuber like that go viral? Uh, I think that with that video in particular, it's pretty clear why it happened. There's a few reasons that anyone could really duplicate a few things that he did there so that's what I want to talk about as I sit here sit here in my field uh, looking at the trees thinking about my beautiful bride and um, homesteading and stuff uh, so <laughs> first of all the title how to get rid of an annoying neighbor with a crayon that title is very good. It starts off, how to get rid of an annoying neighbor. That's a problem that we all have dealt with. Annoying neighbors, right? It hits a pain point. So immediately, as soon as you see it, you're like, okay, that's kind of interesting. And then it follows through with, with a crayon. And then you're like, whoa, what the heck? What, what's going on with this? How, how do I get rid of someone with a crayon? What does he do with the crayon? What does he do? that's what it gets you thinking so it's a video that was just titled how to get rid of annoying neighbors you might click on it you might not but when the absurd over the top with a crayon is added then you're like man I gotta see what what he does with the crayon where does where does the crayon go how what's the body count at the end you know so you click on the video, that's one point of it, is to have a, a title that's kind of weird and it touches a pain point. Everyone can relate to it. Homesteading off the grid, I have no, I have no interest in that kind of stuff, but the title of the video is relatable to pretty much anyone. So you click on the video and the second thing you see is that it's 18 minutes long, which is pretty long for a YouTube video, and especially a viral video. And my guess is the reason that it went viral is because he was getting a lot of watch time. Now, if you don't know, YouTube ranks when it, so the YouTube algorithm, when it's picking videos to be recommended to people, it uses watch time as the main metric to decide that. So not views, not subscribers. How many minutes, how many hours of this video are people watching? So that means if a video gets a million hits, but people wa only watch 10 seconds before they click away, it's not going to get recommended. But with this video, my guess is that people were watching most of this 18 minute video, which is going to really boost you in the search uh, and the recommended videos. So that's the other thing is you've got to create a video that's going to keep people involved for a long time so they don't click away, they keep watching. Now how does he do that? How does he do it? Well, <laughs> in the video he doesn't answer the question, how do I get rid of an annoying neighbor with a crayon until the 15 minute mark. So he keeps you in suspense for 15 minutes and you're like, man what's happening? What? What, what happens with the crayon, man? I need to know. So you listen to the whole video until he finally answers it. If he answered it right away, you wouldn't watch the rest of the video. Why would you? You'd have no reason to. Uh, but he, this, he, he's a bit of a, the guy who made this video, homesteading off the grid, he's a bit of a rebel though. He like, he takes it into dangerous territory because he goes on frequent sidebars and unrelated extraneous information and it's dangerous because you can lose your audience when you do that you know he constantly talks about his beautiful bride and he talks about uh, serving in Iraq and I thank him for his service but it was completely 
unnecessary to tell the story that he was telling, right? And he gave a lot of backstory and he like fleshed out the characters. This guy was basically, he's basically the Charles Dickens of YouTube. He drew out a story that could have been told in like four minutes to 18 minutes long. With constant sidebars, speaking a little bit slowly and pausing every so often to uh, take in the beauty of his surroundings and drink some coffee, you know? Now, I don't, you know, I can't blame him too much for talking slow because I kind of talk slow. I pause a lot. I pause in weird spots like just now and the pauses are long enough to drive a semi-truck through, okay? I get it. Um, and with this guy, in this video, I put the speed to like 1.25 and it still sounded a little bit slow. So, I actually forgot I had set the speed fast. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, there is an intangible at work here because not anyone could just ramble and do sidebars like this guy. There is this something, the thing that can't really be duplicated, that you can't just copy, is for some reason you want to keep watching even though he's going off on extraneous stuff he has this just relatableness he has no pretense he's just a guy talking to you about his crazy neighbor and what he did and that's what YouTube is all about you know it's people being real you get a window into someone's life it feels like you're sitting next to them and talking to them you know you're sitting out with them on the homestead off the grid enjoying some coffee and looking out at his trees, you know? That's what you feel like when you watch the video, which is what keeps people watching to the end, and that's not something everyone can do. And that's, like, this video about the crayon, this is, like, pure YouTube. This is YouTube at what it's supposed to be, at its finest. While YouTube is going off making, uh, you know, YouTube premium television series and pumping a bunch of money into news for YouTube, like professional news sources. It's like, that's not what YouTube's about. YouTube as a company seems to have no idea what their company is about. It's about, you know, people like homesteading off the grid, making a video about his neighbor an 18 minute video uncut in 480p, that's what it's about, you know? It's not about uh, seeing a professionally done show. You see what I'm saying? The, the spoiler alert, the, the, um, the story that he told was basically he had a dog and he would leave the dog out in his yard when he left for the day, and when he came back, the dog was in the garage, pinned in the garage. So he, he put together in his mind that his neighbor was coming over and putting his dog in the garage. So what he did, this is ingenious, he wrote a sign uh, in crayon and put it on the garage saying, hey neighbor, and he called him by name, you're on CCTV even though he didn't have any cameras, any security cameras. And after that day, his neighbor committed suicide. No, his neighbor never came back around. And that took me about 30 seconds, maybe if that, to tell that story. And it took him 15 minutes to tell that story. So I guess the takeaway is, be yourself in front of the camera and ramble for a while, get people to watch, but have a payoff, you know? What did, he, what did he do with that crayon? Oh, it turns out he just wrote a sign. Why did he use a crayon? Was he just, was it to get across to this neighbor, I am in such a mental state that I'm going to use a writing implement intended for a child to send my message, to get my message across. Why not a Sharpie? Why not a ballpoint pen? I don't know, playa. Anyway, I'm gonna just sit here, think about my beautiful bride and the time that I um, served in the Stormcloak army uh, in Skyrim and uh, 
Oh, my coffee's gone. And look, look over here at the sun. Oh my gosh.